The modern world is geared towards products that we use and then throw away. Here at Sugru, they're trying to change that way of thinking by developing a silicone rubber that allows you to fix, personalize or modify more or less any kind of everyday object. My name is Jane Nigel Quintic and I'm the inventor of Subaru and I'm the CEO here as well. The idea for Subaru um, is uh, it came about by accident. I was studying product design at the Royal College of Art here in London. I was fascinated by materials and making things with my hands. And one day I mixed a silicone bathroom sealant with a waste wood dust. And I just rolled it into a bowl and left it on the table and um, didn't really think anything more about it. Then I came back after lunch and I picked it up and it had set hard. Um, and so it bounced on the floor and what happened next was that it bounced right up into the ceiling like a ping pong ball. And so for me, looking at a material that looked like wood but behaved like something completely different was just fascinating. So that's where I sort of dove into it and I said, this material must be useful for something. I didn't find any one thing that it was like good enough for, but I found hundreds and thousands of very little things that it was good for. I think one of the things that's really remarkable and is in many ways the key to the patent is that unlike a lot of adhesives which are two parts, this is one part. So as soon as you take it out of the pack, it's good to go. I think most people are very familiar with things like Play-Doh, plasticine, these sorts of very moldable things, but of course they're not a glue. So this is all the benefits of the moldability of those sorts of materials, but it also has a really good adhesive which sticks to a huge variety of substrates. I'm Tom, I'm a researcher at Form 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 Limited and I was privileged enough to be involved in development of Sugru from very early stages. First component we use when we're making Sugru is a silicone polymer, which is a clear and viscous liquid. The silicone polymer is um, chemically modified to work with a crosslinker component. The, the crosslinker we use is a silane. So it's related chemically to the, the silicone fluid that we use and its function is, is to react with the chain terminals on the polymer and to make them cross-linkable. Next we'll add some filler components. Initially I'll add some reinforcing filler. This will raise the consistency of Sugru somewhat but it will also, once Sugru has cured, provide its reinforcing properties which contributes to its toughness, its durability and its um, strength. Other fillers that we add to Sugru include an extending filler. This brings up the consistency of Sugru so that it changes from being a liquid in nature to more of a dough or a putty in nature. Additionally, we'll add some tack modifying components. This um, reduces the stickiness on the surface of Sugru so that it's still tacky enough to attach to objects or to surfaces but it's not too tacky that when you handle it, your hands get really uh, messy with, the, with Sugru. So the final functional ingredient we use in Sugru is a catalyst. And the catalyst's uh, function is to increase the rate of curing or cross-linking when Sugru is removed from its packet to make sure it cures in a reasonable time. To finish Sugru off, we add a pigment. We use a pigment that's been dispersed pre-dispersed into a silicone uh, resin. The mixing process I'm, I'm using here by hand and on a slab is very similar to the way that the first compositions of Sugru were developed. The manufacturing of Sugru, this process takes a lot longer. We're making between 40 and 80 kilograms per batch. So it can take actually up to three to four hours, sometimes even five. So dude, we've seen the kind of basic formula of Sugru. Where are you going next? What, are, what kind of things are you going to develop with the product? So the first thing has been really to try and understand all the properties of the chemistry of Sugru. And that's allowed us to almost pull it in different directions and create new iterations. So one of those has been making things softer and we've created an additive. Admittedly, this is in beta testing at the minute, so not available just yet, but it allows us to modify the sure A hardness of Sugru. 
So if we take a look at some samples that we've got, I can take a durometer and as you can see here, we get to around 30. And then as we go along, that'll be about 40. And that'll be Suga in its normal state of 70 Shore A. So this has got the most softener in it. And this makes for some really exciting applications. And especially coming from design, where you want to create different prototypes of rubber handholds, things like that, you can really fine tune these things so the user experience is perfect. So that makes it more, more flexible once it's cured? So yeah, with, with a, a drop in Shore A hardness, it's much more flexible and much more spongy. So although Suga in its normal state is quite firm, it's almost a little bit softer than a car or bicycle tire, we can sort of take this down to sort of elastic band style squidginess. When you released kind of the product into the wild, what was the most surprising thing that, that came back to you? The way uh, people have reacted to Sugru has been absolutely incredible. I mean, from day one, we started to get people emailing us and sending us pictures of what they've done. So children doing projects to send the camera into space and they've used Sugru to like put it into a box so that it won't shrink and degrade or whatever. Um, we've seen all kinds of strange things helping animals, for example, so somebody who had turtles and didn't want them to get lost, secured GPS on, on them, things like this. There's a group of mermaids in California. You wouldn't think that exists, um, but uh, it's a bar in California where they have this huge tank and all the waitresses actually swim around with mermaid tails on, and these are made of rubber. They're very, very big, floppy things, and they tend to tear, so they use Subaru regularly to replace their, or repair their tails. You know, we have people from farms um, to household stuff to adventures. We've had somebody trek to the North Pole with Subaru on their uh, ski grips. Um, you know, it's absolutely incredible actually.